It's time for another home remodel video. We are in the bedroom that we're working on right now, and as you can see, all of the rough work is finished. We're ready for finishing work. So first, we're gonna be doing the walls. If you haven't seen some of our previous videos, we're basically gonna be using a white paper wall technique where instead of paint, we're gonna be ripping pieces of white paper and gluing them to the wall with a wallpaper paste. It's a really cool technique. It didn't come out perfect in our bedroom the way we wanted, but I think it's gonna come out better this time. See, previously we used a thin paper, and that was kind of accidental. We thought we were buying a heavyweight paper, but it was thinner than we expected. We went forward with that, and it was a little more translucent than we would have liked. With this new paper we found, it is super heavyweight, and it is perfect. I can't wait to show it to you. But first, we have to seal the drywall with this surface sealer. And what this does is prepare the drywall and compound for the wallpaper paste. It'll make it so it loses all the chalkiness and it'll just go on nicer. If I put wallpaper paste on the drywall as it is, the paste would be making the, uh, the drywall paper wet. It, could be, it would be lifting the compound off the walls. It would just be a disaster. So we have to seal it first. I'm gonna do that by rolling this problem surface sealer over the whole room. So you might be wondering, why even do the paper technique? Why go through all that work? And if you've watched our previous videos, you know it's a lot of work. And I'll be showing that whole process today. But you basically rip a bunch of paper into small pieces, paste them on your wall, and seal them with another coat of sealer. We put it to a challenge to ourselves to see if we could do a whole house without using paint. Now we're not anti-paint or anything, but we thought it'd be fun to just see if we could do it because we really don't like painting. It's just something we don't like to do. Even though this is similar to painting, it's a lot less picky. And paint we feel is boring and it gets very dirty looking very fast. If you touch a painted wall, if you have furniture against a painted wall, it's always filthy looking. We don't like dirty looking walls. We don't like boring looking walls. And we thought the paper is so cool because it gives you texture. It gives dimension to the wall. And you can see the ripped edges and that, that cool texture. We just thought we'd try something new. I'm done coating all the walls and ceiling and it went really quickly. And you can see, you don't even see it. It's already dry. It dries so fast. Um, we could probably start coating it right now. So we gotta start ripping paper. So we're at the part of the project where we have to start ripping paper. And basically this is gonna be the paper that we're putting on our walls. We wanted to show you guys the comparison between the old paper and the new paper. We had a lot of mixed feelings on the first bedroom, our master bedroom that we did, when we papered the walls, there was a lot of people who hated it and a lot of people who loved it. And it was kind of mixed because you could really see through that paper and it, it gave it a very strong patterned effect. Which some people really liked and some people really didn't like. Let me rip a piece. So just for an example, this is the paper we used the first time and 
You can just tell. It's very thin. It's like printer paper. That was not unintentional. It was just thinner than we expected. So when that was pasted on the wall, you could see through it. This is the new paper. <laughs> so this is a piece of the new paper. You can hear it. It's thick. Yeah, and this one's like... And comparatively, you can see a lot more light through this one when I hold it up. You guys can't because I'm... Yeah, you can see light through this one. This one is a lot thicker and it's a softer tone of white. But this right here, you can't see through it. It's very thick, very robust paper. I think this is going to go a lot yeah. better. This should go faster on the wall because it'll be easier to work with and it won't be as so fragile as that. So it should help a lot. It should look really cool. And we got 500 feet of it. So plenty to do the whole room. And we're gonna start by just ripping these into about foot size sections. That's what we like. We're gonna save all the edges in one pile and all the middles in another. So for example, when we rip this, um, anything with a straight edge, we save so that we can do along the floor along doorways and openings. It just makes a nice crisp edge and all the middles will fill in the middle of the room with. So we like to make two separate piles. Oh, I can tell this paper is going to be cool. Yeah. Go ahead. I got a ton of edges. Are those your edges? Yeah. Edges, edges. And, I mean, you have to do a lot. Let's just face it, we have a whole room to cover. We're this gonna have to do a lot more. won't even be enough, but it gets boring. So I think we're gonna start with this and start pasting it on the wall. We got a big variety, just big and small, all, all different shapes, all different sizes, just to try to keep it really random on the wall because we ran into this dragon scale effect in the bedroom when we had too many pieces the same shape and size and it started just looking like a pattern. All right, we're back in the bedroom and I got my paste. This is a GH30, GH34 wallpaper paste. When you paste this, you wanna make sure you get all the edges really good that there's no dry spots. We're gonna be starting with only the edge pieces and we're just gonna do around the whole like perimeter, around the windows, the door. The floor, the closet. Yeah. And then we'll fill in with the inside ones later. So it feels pretty good to be getting the finishing work done on this bedroom. Um, this has been a slow project because we've been pulled in so many different directions, waiting for things or doing other things. To, you know, we got the new chicks and all that stuff. But it's finally coming together. Even though we're so close to finishing this room, the reveal might not be for a little while because we still have to get some things that we're waiting for. Yeah. So some finishing touches, the finishing, finishing touches. So we have the flooring. We're gonna be able to do the walls, do the floor, do the trim. We bought the door. We have everything to finish the room. 
We got a couple of special things that we want to put in here that we're going to wait on. So in the meantime, we might actually start working on the next room. We might have the next yeah. remodel started super soon. But don't get impatient. We will reveal this bedroom. We just got to wait. So looking at this white paper as it dries, we let it dry for a little bit, took a break. It looks so good. It's exactly what we wanted so far. It's very white. There is no real sign of the overlapping. Yeah. It's really just cool looking. And it's not going to be like plain because in, in video, you're not going to be able to see it. But in real life, you can see the edges of the paper. It's like a soft ripped edge and the overlapping textures but it's not see-through and that's what we wanted. So this paper so far is looking awesome. Yeah, do that. Alright guys, the whole wall is done. It looks so good and I've already wrapped up to the ceiling and I'm starting the ceiling. We're probably going to just jump around the room and do wherever we feel like doing. But right now I'm going to work on the ceiling until my arms get tired, then I'll do the wall again. Day two of papering the wall and the walls sat overnight, they dried, it's looking awesome. These came out perfect. This is exactly what we were going for the first time when we got the giraffe walls. So we're happy with the results and we can keep moving forward. And remember, this paper isn't sealed yet. So we're gonna be putting a final coat of sealer over the paper to lock it in, keep it from getting dirty or peeling or anything like that and then it really puts a nice gloss on it, or like a semi-gloss, and it looks really cool. Yesterday, we got this whole wall done. So you can see that's complete. And I think today, I'm gonna tackle this big wall, get the big stuff out of the way. Maybe we can finish the whole room today if we try. We've been working on this project on and off all day and we we're getting a lot of work done. You can see the wall is basically almost done. We got a lot of the ceiling done. We got one more wall behind me to do and the rest of the ceiling, but we're running out of light. So I'm gonna stop the video here for tonight, but we're gonna keep on working. We're gonna hopefully get it done tonight. Yeah, we're gonna push. So we'll be showing you guys when it's all complete. It's early in the morning. Well, early for me at least, and I'm getting ready to seal the walls. So this is where I go back over with that clear surface sealer to make sure this paper stays strong, stays clean, doesn't peel, doesn't get all dirty from touching it. All right, this is getting a little bit scary because I've been working on this wall to the right of me, and I'll show you that in a minute, but as I'm putting the sealer on, the paper is absorbing it, and it's getting really mottled and really see-through. It's like, it's so scary to work on this project because we love this. And look at it while it's wet. Oh no, this is like almost like the other room where you can just see through the paper, really dark. You can kind of see the drywall seams through it. This is not what we're going for and we're hoping that the sealer dries clearer and the paper gets opaque again and it looks like this. But this is scary.
The room is done being coated with the first coat. I do want to go over it again, seal it a second time. I basically ruined the room. It looked so good, and now it looks terrible. It's a little bit nerve-wracking, and I'm watching it dry, and I don't even see it getting any darker. So I'm really nervous, but I'm going to stay patient and just see how it goes. I'll give it some time. Well guys, the walls are done. Let's talk about it. The walls didn't come out as good as we hoped. Again, this is strike two. This did come out better than the original bedroom. The paper looks a little more even. It's a little more white, less see-through. But the sealer really um, changed the paper. It was very solid white and we loved it. And this, you can see that modeling. You can see that kind of giraffe pattern. It might not show up as much on camera, but it's definitely there. And you can see through the paper again. That's so disappointing because it looked so good. Am I worried about it? No, not really. Because it's better than the first room. It's no worse than the first room, certainly. And we know that once all, everything's in here, once the bed and the furniture and all this stuff's in here, it's not gonna really make a big difference. It's not gonna make a big deal. Um, life goes on. It's a live and learn experience. A lot of you will probably be giving us advice and saying we should just paint it or we should prime first. And we know that. We know we have options. We are just experimenting so that we can learn and try new things. So we don't hate it, but it's not, but we don't love it. It's not exactly how we hoped. We hoped it would stay really solid like it looked when we first put it on. And I'm not sure why it changed. We're not sure why paper becomes less opaque when you seal it, but it does. But we're just happy to have the walls done. This means we can start working on the floor, put the trim in, and really be done with the bedroom very soon. I guess we can check this one off the list. It's another stage of the job done, and pretty soon we'll be moving on to more rooms and more projects and getting this house wrapped up. Probably not before winter, but we can get a couple more rooms done. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. But until next time, take care.